if it's one thing that you, I don't want to say change, that you feel that can help the WNBA's game out, Help what the would game you do? out. Okay, so I think the game is looking great. I think it's evolved great. I believe that player for player, players are more talented, faster. You can see they're getting that individual training, ball handling skills, shooting. The game is phenomenal. I thought they're playing at a high level. I'm very proud of them. I, I support the WNBA still. I will always, you know, obviously we'd love to have Brittany back home. That, that's yeah, important. Sure. Shout, out BG. BG. Shout out to BG. Shout out to BG. She's yeah. never, you know, far from our thoughts. Yeah. But the WNBA is rocking. What could we have more? I mean, I just think, you know, from a salary standpoint, it, it'd be great for the women to be able to make more money. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of hard work. I think I saw something that said, like, one player that makes maybe $12 million on the NBA team could cover the whole, like, the whole WNBA salary. Yeah, that's what so, so that's kind of, like, crazy. And, it, and again... You know, we're, we're what, 26 years young, so it's not like we're, we're comparing ourselves to the NBA, but I do feel like the pay gap would be something that, you know, we could just take a donation around the NBA, maybe. Maybe, maybe one night y'all don't go to the casino. I, I have something on okay. this, though, because it pisses me off. It pisses me off because I don't think there's anyone in America that supports the WNBA more than NBA players. hundred like, percent. The NBA players support the WNBA like the most. More than we probably support the fucking NBA. And it bothers me. You shouldn't be bothered because the WNBA players, I can tell you 100%. And we had a meeting for our 25th anniversary. We're like do zooms with the the veteran, the legends of the league or whatever, and just talking about it. And I told them on that call. The number one supporter that we have, you guys never focus on, and that is the NBA players. I don't know if you guys know this, but the WNBA actually loses money. Shocker, I know. They lose an average of about $10 million per year ever since they started. So how is it that they're able to keep going as a league and pay their players? Well, that would be the NBA. The only reason the WNBA even exists is because of the profits that the NBA has made. So when you hear statements like, Men should show more support for our league. Just donate your salaries. It's no big deal. Skip a couple nights in the casino. Don't you think that's a little entitled? Considering the whole reason they're able to make any money at all and even play basketball is because of the NBA players making the profits they do. Even when they show support, NBA players get blasted for it. That's what happened to Andre Iguodala when he complimented Ariel Powers. She not only told him to keep it to himself, but she also tried digging up old tweets from his past to cancel him. That's right, she tried to ruin his career just because he complimented her by number and not by name. And let's also not forget when Luka Doncic got blasted for wearing a WNBA jersey to show support for the Dallas team. The point is, NBA players can't win. If they show support, they're seen as egotistical, self-centered, and trying to make everything about them. But when they don't show support, they're seen as sexist and that they don't care about anybody but themselves. Getting paid millions of dollars to play a sport is a privilege, not a right. You're not oppressed because other people make more money doing the same thing you do. If that were the case, PewDiePie and Mr. Beast are oppressing me because they get more views and make more money and I should make that money. They should donate that money to me. It doesn't work like that. Not every business makes the same amount of money and even sports leagues are businesses. In Lisa's defense, she acknowledged that the NBA has done a lot for her league but it was still ridiculous for her to even mention NBA players donating their salaries to help fund the WNBA. And that's what pissed Draymond off, and that should piss off any NBA player. WNBA players should be thanking the NBA and its players for making it possible to do what they do. Because if they really don't like it, they can always do something else. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of this exchange between Draymond Green and Lisa Leslie, and leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more. NBA content just like this, and I will see you in the next upload.